Quentin Tarantino was doing an interview to promote his latest movie, Django Unchained, and uh, he started talking about the war on drugs, which is an interesting topic to hear Quentin Tarantino talk about, and here are his thoughts. This whole thing of uh, the, this war on drugs and the mass incarcerations that have happened pretty much for the last 40 years has uh, you know, just decimated the black male population. It, it's slavery. It is just, it's, it's just slavery through and through. And it's just, it's the same fear of the black male that existed back in the 1800s. And, uh, you know, there's a reason. Uh, so, I mean, you know, especially having even directed a movie about slavery and, you know, the, the scenes that we have in the, uh, the slave town, the slave auction town, where they're moving back and forth. Well, that looks like standing on the top tier of a, of a prison system and watching the things go down. And between the, the private prisons and the public prisons and the way tr prisoners are traded back and forth and and literally all the reasons that they have for keeping this going are all the same reasons they had for keeping slavery going after the whole world had pretty much decided that it was immoral. Man, that's ballsy, and I love it. It and was ballsy, and it was very, very accurate, okay? Any research will indicate uh, what he said was true. In fact, I did my own research, and I want to give you guys hard numbers. Blacks are 12% of the population, 14% of annual marijuana users, 31% of marijuana possession arrests. Yeah, this is obviously disproportionate. And, you know, they've written books about how it's the new Jim Crow. Obviously, Tarantino's taking it to a different level on slavery. Uh, but they literally put him in chains. The other day we did the story about Stephanie George, who was, was a young black woman at the age of 27, arrested for an incredibly minor offense, a little bit of cocaine that her boyfriend had hidden in her attic, attic without even her knowledge of it. She had a life sentence, and now she works for 92 cents an hour in prison. So not only do they put you in prison, but they make you work for almost nothing while you're in those chains. You put two and to get two together, you come up with four. Well, that story actually goes further because what we're seeing now uh, happening more and more is, you know, companies will get rid of union jobs and instead they'll bring in prisoners because they don't have to pay them as much. And the prisoners do the same work that Americans used to get paid a fair wage for. Um, and, you know, they, they barely get paid anything, obviously, as you know. So it's, it's happening in the country right now. Well, if you want to look at uh, marijuana possession arrests in 2007, uh, for whites it was uh, 195 per 100,000 whites, and for blacks it was 500, uh, 598 per 100,000 blacks, okay? And it mostly uh, it's youths between the ages of 15 and 24 uh, that get arrested for this nonviolent offense. So you can see right there, over three times as many blacks per capita get arrested as whites for the same exact crime. And then they will say, well, what discrimination? What do you mean? Well, look, whether it's a racial discrimination or socioeconomic mm -hmm. discrimination, well, they happen to be more in poor areas, and poor areas have more police uh, you know, presence, etc. It doesn't matter. It, it's still the same result. Three times as many blacks get arrested, not because they're doing three times as many "quote unquote" crime here, which is simple uh, drug possession, but because it's the same exact crime, and yet they're being put away in jail more. So, I mean, again, Tarantino has a terrific point in saying that this is a horrible injustice. We need to fix it at some point, and it's disproportionately affecting African Americans. And maybe it's a coincidence. And maybe it's not. Yeah. One, one last statistic, because I thought this was fascinating, too. And of course, this is federal information, OK? Uh, in 2006, according to a federal national survey on drug use and health, uh, 2.5 million white individuals sold drugs and 700,000 black sold drugs. Now, of course, this is because of the population difference, right? Uh, blacks compose 12% uh, of our population. But it's amazing that even though they're only 12% of our population, less of them sell the drugs, more of them got, get locked away for that offense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, new Jim Crow at a bare minimum, man. And uh, so Tarantino is being controversial, uh, but if it helps shake people out of their complacency in how they view this huge problem, and the problem isn't drugs, the problem is how we deal with drugs, and our war on drugs, and the violence that it creates, and the mass incarceration it creates and the lives that it destroys, well, then he's doing the public a service by starting that conversation.